so, L. Ron Hubbard, James the Amazing Randy, and Nosferatu walk into a bar. Hello everyone, this is Susan Gerbic from the GSOW project, Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia. I'm going to give you a few updates and catch you up on the work a few of my editors have been doing. I know I talk a lot about the page creations and the rewrites, and no wonder it's a lot of work. I'm currently working on three, and I've spent at least 50 hours in total over the last 10 days. Sometimes it is easier to work on several at once, and in this case, because they share citations and interviews and people, it's much easier to work on several at one time. I want to mention a couple editors who are working on Wikipedia, but not necessarily by rewriting pages. Portuguese team leader Nix has informed me that one of his editors, Valero Andrade Melo, who lives in Brazil, has turned into a skeptical watchdog. He polices pages, argues with creationists, spiritualists, and just general woo. He reverts edits and classifies pages, and he has had all the Portuguese admins on his side. He's getting quality work done, keeping pseudoscience off Portuguese Wikipedia. Dutch team leader Leon tells me that one of his editors is doing the same thing, Emil de, de Germans, who lives in Rotterdam, Netherlands, and he's always in the trenches. He's a skeptical rogue. He's fighting the good fight, but hasn't had the support Valero has had with the admins. The rules are not the same in all the language Wikipedias, so it's been quite a learning experience for our team. Last episode, I mentioned that GSOW has written a Wikipedia page for the European Council for Skeptical Organizations, which is now hosting the European Skeptic Congress in September 2015 in London. That same page has now been translated into Dutch and is going through proofreading at the moment and will be launched in Hungarian by next week. Thank you, Andreas Pinter and team. I really like the Team Skepticality episode I did a few weeks ago where I highlighted a couple GSOW editors who discovered our project right here on Skepticality. Well, here is another one. Christine Daly joined GSOW on January 1, 2014, so almost a year ago. She's been an instrumental finishing up projects that have deadlines and inspiring other team members. She's like a ray of sunshine, very positive attitude, and has become our newest English team leader for Team Curie. She has been involved in so many little stinging edits that I call her my honey badger. A few of the pages she has been a large part of are Todd Robbins, Angela Sani, Seth Soshak, Friends of Science and Medicine, and also the rewrite of our very own Derek Colanduno. I sat down and added up all the Wikipedia page views for all those pages since Christine had created them, and she's at 23,345 total views of her work. Hopefully next episode I will be able to talk about the work she's doing on the rewrite of the Skepticality Wikipedia page. Long overdue. As it is the year end, I thought it might be interesting to look at a few of the page stats over a large period of time. Team leader Nathan Miller created a page for Ben Radford's Tracking the Chupacabra. I've read this book and I highly in enjoyed it. Lots of great travel adventures and I think he solves the mystery of the elusive Chupacabra, but I won't tell you how it ends. That Wikipedia page was written in June 2013, so about 18 months ago, and so far it has hit 11,269 views. And here's a fun one. I loved learning about the Scottish doctor, Archie Cochrane. We were involved in the rewrite of the English page, but I'm now talking about the Willem van der Rohe translation into Dutch. Archie Cochrane was a Scottish doctor who was born in 1909 he served in the Spanish Civil War and was a prisoner of war in the German in a German camp during World War II. During that time, Cochrane decided that there was a lot of doctoring going on that did not have sufficient evidence to justify its use. He wrote a book and advocated for randomized control trials in medical research. He felt it was a really good idea to discover if the medical care that was being given actually worked. What a concept! Willem translated this page from English into Dutch in August 2013, just over a year ago. In that time, it's had 1,056 views. And one more, Nathan Miller created the page for the project Penny for NASA and launched it March 2014. 
he also made sure it was mentioned on the neil degrasse tyson's wikipedia page remember cosmos came out on tv this last march that wikipedia page has received 6310 views since it was launched in march see the show notes i have included michael steinkeller's lecture on gsow at the munich gwup skeptic conference it's ready for watching it's in german but you non-german speakers will probably understand more than you think give it a view so this is all a lot of work obviously it isn't for everyone but we can't make these changes without editors this is outreach beyond the choir this is meaningful if you want to argue with believers then we will keep you busy doing just that but in a respectful way that actually does get things accomplished join us we train and mentor the new year is quickly approaching and this is a wonderful project make 2015 the year that you actually act on your resolution to make a difference questions write to me at gsowteam at gmail.com oh yes a shout out to daniel from the monterey county skeptics who just discovered skepticism a few months ago and is already enjoying skepticality he says his favorite segment is the odds must be crazy as he is a math nut i can't say i blame him i love listening to wendy and john also so thank you <laughs>